Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I have here is Taurus's new G3C. I did a review on this, check out the full video. What I wanna do with this video is do a torture test. In my opinion, the, the best way to torture test something is steel cased, cheap ammo. That's gonna show or highlight, you know, any kind of flaws, jams. I guess my bottom line is kind of like, you know, shooting with something like this. You know, I always get the comments, why are you using a concealed carry and shooting it at 50 and 100 yards? Uh, because if I can hit something at 50 and 100 yards, then there's definitely no issue with hitting something at 10 feet. So I have the same concept with the cheap Russian steel case ammo. I've got a thousand rounds here of Wolf, Tula. We're gonna run those through. I've already run through 650 rounds, uh, probably two, 300 already of the steel case. We're gonna go for a straight 1,000 rounds for a total of you know 1650 plus rounds. I'm gonna try not to clean it. This has been cleaned once after I did the initial video with the 650 rounds. I'm gonna try to get through all thousand rounds without cleaning and see what kind of issues, if we have any issues whatsoever. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna be a hot day. Let's get busy. We did have one little hiccup here. I noticed this turned sideways. It's kind of back. Oh, there it goes. Turned sideways. We're gonna have to check on it. Okay, so that. we had a slight little interruption there. There's, let's see if we can get the sun in there. There's a little tiny screw up there that simply came loose and our front sight post started turning. Really not a big deal. That's not a deal breaker for me by any means. I've had a lot of companies have screws loose and, um, and I'm, I'm not gonna go through them all, but it's not uncommon. Personally, I think every firearms company should just Loctite. So what I did was, is I put some red Loctite on this. We're gonna let this cure a little bit and then we're gonna get back to right, shooting. So I just contacted Taurus. They did have some issues with that screw not being loctite They're addressing it. All the new ones that have come out did not have the Loctite. So if you have any issues, just reach out to Taurus. They'll take care of you. I got some Loctite on it. I'm going to see if that takes care of it and get back to the torture test. Hey, just for legitimacy... Every single round has been caught on video. Hey, if you like this video, if you follow my channel, make sure and check out my webpage, use my links. I've got some online courses here. Check those out, 30 day money back guarantee and optics and anything else that I can find that Amazon sells related to guns. Check out my Amazon store. I got some crazy stupid deals there. Thank you guys for your support. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, I got three more mags. I'm not sure who this is a torture test for, this or me. It is hotter and stink out here. I don't know if you can tell, but I am soaking wet. I look like I just got out of the pool. When I fire off these last three mags, that'll be the first 250 rounds. And I'm gonna go inside and get some water quick and then come back out and we'll go back at it. I don't know if some of you have caught it, but a couple of times here, actually probably three or four, when I slam this in, it's charged. I don't necessarily want that to happen. There it did it. Yeah, when you smack it hard, it charges. 
that might be something Taurus wants to take a look at. Because when I smack that, I don't want my slide charging. I never thought that I would say I wish I could quit shooting. <laughs> my finger hurts. It's hot out here. Actually, my phone battery is about dead, so I'm going to run in, recharge that. We're just shy of 500 rounds here so far. Thumbs up. It is hotter than stink out here, guys. This is a good test. Not one single light primer strike, one jam, nothing. We're... Hey, if you haven't checked out my full review on this, you might enjoy it. Check it out. Oh, it's our first jam. First failure to feed. And actually, it was a mag issue, not, not a gun issue. It was a mag issue. There. was a failure to fully feed. Here's another one. We are at, all we have left is about 80 rounds. I might just put a couple drops of oil on it and see if that fixes it. Okay, so it wasn't until we were past 900 rounds that we had the first two failure defeats, and it was just simply, it was getting really dry. I went in, I added a drop of oil on either side of the slide, and I put a drop of oil on the feed ramp. We've got about 80 rounds left. That would appear to have fixed the issue. Let's finish. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the last three mags plus three rounds. Nine hundred ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one thousand. I wanted to make sure I made them count. There you go, guys. That is one thousand rounds. I would love to say that it was fun. But I gotta be honest, it really wasn't. I'm hot, um, but I wanted to do this. I wanted to put this to the test. I had a feeling that it was gonna be fine. It ate up and spit out 1,000 rounds of steel case ammo in essentially one setting here. It has taken me a couple hours to get this done. Not one single issue other than it started getting a little dry put a couple drops in there we were golden <laughs>